while we are trying to be united together as Sinhalese, Tamils and Buddhist, Christian and Hindus. It is regretted our Muslim friends are trying to be separated. Our Muslim friends are demanding for separate food system. They are demanding for separate law and order system, for separate uniform and dress code, separate education, separate universities, separate, separate and separate. Ultimately, we understand this separatism paved the way for separate from the whole. Actually, friends, we are hurt so much. We are disappointed. Then we find out what is the reason for this different ideas and separatism. Then I found very reason is Quran. I am not criticizing Quran, but I am revealing the truth. Let me quote certain pieces of Quran. Allah will shed human blood while angels praise him in heaven. Surah number 2, Al-Baqarah. Again, kill disbelievers wherever you find them. But if they desist in their unbelief, then don't kill them. Surah Al-Baqarah. Attack on the necks of the disbelievers. Whenever you fight against them, those who die fighting for Allah will be rewarded. Surah Muhammad number 47. Lastly, I just quote this line. If you refuse to fight for Allah, he will punish you with the painful doom. al fat number 48. If this is the teaching in this holy book, how can it be implemented to achieve peace and harmony and unity in this society? Dear friends, Please enlighten us if we are wrong and let us enlighten you if you are wrong.